Hey guys, Luke here, and for today's video, we're going to be talking about the Sydney Roosters again. Now, a couple of days ago, I did a video where I was talking about whether I thought their dynasty was over. Now, the general consensus, I feel like a lot of people were saying it's not over, but it's just going to be a bit of a downhill slide. Uh, maybe no premierships in the near future, but they definitely won't have like a big fall from grace. Uh, now, today there's been news this morning. Laurie Daly apparently went on a radio show and he started talking about the fact or what he's hearing, that's not a fact, it's just like a little rumor, but he said he's hearing with all of the talks of Kyle Flanagan, I'll talk about that as well, uh, with all the talks of Kyle Flanagan leaving, um, and you know, Kyle Flanagan obviously didn't have the best of seasons, but he definitely wasn't wasn't terrible, I wouldn't say. Um, I feel like he's been made a scapegoat uh, just because he's kind of the only real newbie. Um, because a lot of the other guys in the side were there in the past couple of years where they won back-to-back -back premierships. But they don't take into account all the injuries and all that sort of stuff. Anyways, I'm, I'm getting off topic here. Uh, what Laurie Daly went onto the radio and said was that he is hearing that the Roosters want Mitchell Pearce back. Um, now, if I'm Mitchell Pearce, I would... I mean, it, it's hard to pass up. He's won a premiership there. Um, and they obviously have a team capable of win a winning a premiership. And I honestly think if you chuck in Mitchell Pearce to the last couple of seasons, um, you put him in that side, they probably do win the premiership still. Give him James Tedesco and Luke Kieran in the form that he's been in as of late, and a few of the others. you got the Morris boys there, and I definitely think they would have won a premiership, um, at, le at least one of the premierships. Maybe not both of them, but I think they would have won at least one. I know Cooper Cronk is definitely a phenomenal player, and I think that's what's made it so, uh, so hard for Kyle Flanagan, just due to the fact that Flanagan has, you know, he's, he's had to come under literally probably the best halfback of our of our generation, at least, of my generation. Um, you, you know, you have Kronk and you have Thurst and they're your two. And then they've thrown in this rookie, essentially. A guy who's a borderline rookie, played a couple of games with the Sharks, but he's essentially a Sharks reserve grade player. They've chucked him into first grade and expected him to be like Cooper Kronk. Whereas at least Mitchell Pearce, if they throw him in there, Mitchell Pearce, he's been at the Roosters for a long time. Uh, he knows the pressures are coming in the first grade, so he'd be a good... Um, a good teacher, you would think, for some of the younger ones. They've got that Sam Walker guy in reserve grade. So I can understand the logic of Mitchell Pearce going back to the Roosters, but that what kind of makes me think that this rumour is just a rumour is the fact that none of the other big papers or anything have picked it up. And it's just Laurie Daly going on to, uh, onto a breakfast show and saying, oh, he's, he's heard it, he's heard it, he's heard it a lot. I've heard Mitchell Pearce back to the Roosters. And I, I feel like... It's probably a lot of people saying, oh, that actually make a lot of sense, you know. That they're, they're, they're trying to ship off Kyle Flanagan, apparently. Um, and they don't really have an established halfback. Luke Curie's got a lot of um, sort of concussion problems and that sort of stuff. So it would make sense for Mitchell Pearce to go back. I mean, he's been a rooster through and through until he's gone to the Knights. But the thing is, they discarded Mitchell Pearce. Imagine Mitchell Pearce now sitting there after he literally got discarded by the Roosters. They stuck by him at times, obviously. Uh, he's had a lot of off-field controversies. But they stuck. They didn't really stick by him. They got rid of him. Sorry, they didn't stick by him in the end, I should say. They sort of signed a few players and they went, Mitchell Pearce, no, nah, you're not for us. Piss off, mate. And they end up getting Cooper Cronk in and the rest is history. But now you're Mitchell Pearce a couple of years later, a couple of years older uh, in the tail end of your career and you're looking at it and going, ha, huh, come crawling back to me, hey? Uh, I, I don't know if I would go back if I was him, but hey, I feel like he's probably more of a chance of winning a premiership with the Roosters than he is with the Knights, to be honest with you. Um, I feel like there's still a couple of years off. I know Tyson Frizzell is a great signing, uh, but apart from that, they haven't really signed anyone um, at least no one who's going to turn them from like where they are now or where they finish in 2020 into an absolute powerhouse. Whereas the Roosters, you chuck in Mitchell Pearce into that side and especially with his age and that sort of stuff, uh, I feel like th this is as good as Mitchell Pearce is going to get. Um, and he can just go and play kind of second fiddle. I mean, at the Knights, I feel like he's really struggled to have a partner. Obviously, he's got Callum Ponger at fullback helping him, but having that been able to secure or lock down a hooker because everyone gets injured, as soon as you chuck on that nine at the Knights, you end up bloody breaking your leg or something and your career's over. That's essentially is more legitimately what is happening. Slade Griffin, uh, Roy Cross Jason, um, Jake, uh, what's his name, uh, Braley. Jaden Braley, um, it's just did the same thing. Hopefully he'll be back. But it, it really is like a cursed position. Kurt Mann probably be next. Uh, but yeah, the fire position, Kurt Mann was doing a pretty good job with him. But he just hasn't been able to lock down a 5-8. Where he goes to the Roosters, he's going there, he's playing with Luke Keary, who's probably the best 5-8 apart from Jack White. And despite Cody Walker going to be picked, New South Wales by the sounds of things. But I really think Luke Keary is the best 5-8 in the comp. 
Um, so you have that, and then you add in Chidesco and Jake Friend's still there, and a lot of the rookies and Boyd Corners, like they would have a phenomenal side. And if Bishop Pierce went there, like, straight up, I'd be like, yeah, Bruce is probably winning the comp this year. Um, it's just a matter of whether Mitchell Pierce. Firstly, if he can get out of his contract. Secondly, does he even want to go? Uh, and third, can the Roosters afford him? I mean, it sounds like a joke saying can the Roosters afford him, considering if they want someone, nine times out of ten they end up getting them. Like even two of us, a Sheck and all of them, when the NPS, when they left, it was like they wanted them to go. They didn't really care. They had someone else. Like two of us, a Sheck left. They brought in Tedesco. So. It wasn't really like a, a huge loss. In fact, it, it wasn't a loss at all. Tedesco ended up becoming probably the best player in the world at this point. So um, it was a good move by the Roosters. And um, yeah, I don't know. Even for the Roosters, I feel like it'd be weird for them to go back to Piers. It, it generally doesn't really happen for the Roosters. I've never really seen them go back to someone. Even like Sonny Bill. That was Sonny Bill leaving. Like, And he went to a whole other code. He didn't even go to another NRL team. Um, so that one's a little bit different. I haven't really seen the Roosters sign a player discard them and then go back to one. It doesn't seem like a rooster thing to do. So that's just what makes me think that this whole thing is just like Larry Daly looking at it and going, well, Kyle Flanagan's leaving. The only other real logical one is Mitchell Pierce, like a former rooster, uh, wants to come back, win a premiership. He's already won a premiership. Like, oh, well, this makes sense. This is a plausible thing to say. Uh, so th that's what I feel like might have happened. And if he was hearing rumors, I feel like it's probably that because there was no real big rumours coming up up until today uh, that Mitchell Pierce was going to go back and now all of a sudden all the media outlets are picking it up. So yeah, definitely thought it was worth doing a video on and just giving my thoughts on it. Uh, I'll talk about Kyle Flanagan real quick. I, I really hate how the media is really hung about the dry here. I don't particularly think he's like the best halfback, but he's bloody 22. Like how many players, we are just talking about Mitchell Pierce. He was definitely not killing it at 22 um, and a lot of halfbacks are definitely not killing it at 22. Uh, probably your, your exception is Nathan Cleary. So everyone's going to immediately see that they're both sons of, uh, well, Flanagan's. Shane Flanagan wasn't a player as far as I know, but um, at least in that sort of coaching sort of thing, they at least come from a football family, being sort of talked up as juniors. And then it's just Kyle Flanagan, a step up from reserve grade essentially into first grade. And also it's more so just going from... Just being at the Sharks, yeah, okay, you're another player. To the Roosters, they're like the glamour club. Um, they're the ones that, you know, going for a 3 P, a lot of pressure on him, and also stepping into Cooper Cronk's shoes. Um, it was definitely, I feel like there was it was a, a no-win situation for him. If, if he turned out good, it's like, oh, well, as you expected, because everyone around him is going to carry him. And, and if he does not that good, which is kind of what happened, um, it's, well, they lost because of him. So... Yeah, it's kind of a no-win situation for him, but the talk at the moment is that he's going to be shipped off to the Bulldogs, so I'm a Bulldog supporter, and I would 100% be happy with that. Um, look, quite frankly, he's better than all the halves we've got at the club. Uh, whether it's a, a Lewis and Flanning and halves combo, or a Flanning and Avarillo, or some, just one of those halves combo, I think it's definitely a right, uh, it'd be a right step in the direction for the Bulldogs to sign in. Just a matter of whether he actually even wants to leave the Roosters. Nothing like nothing says that he has to leave the Roosters. Um, look, he could stay and fight for his spot. He's up against Lachlan Lamb, uh, Sam Walker, maybe even Mitchell Pearce. Who knows? But uh, just in terms of Kyle Flanagan, I think he'd be a great signing for the Bulldogs. I think the Roosters would regret getting rid of him in a couple of years. I think I think he definitely has potential to be a star half. But uh, I don't know. Maybe the Bulldogs aren't the right move for him in terms of progression, but hey, we'll, we'll see. Maybe it will happen, maybe it won't. Leave in the comments section below, do you think Kyle Flanagan will end up at the Bulldogs, and do you think Mitchell Pearce will end up at the Roosters? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Personally, I, I can't see the piercing happening. Um, it just seems too... I don't know, it just seems too random. Not random, um, that's probably complete opposite. Uh, it just seems like something that just makes sense. So you make a couple of rumors about it and just see where it goes rather than something that actually has some merit and is actually going to happen. Because um, there's a lot of rumors that definitely do happen, but there's a lot of ones that you can just see people, just a bit of a pipe dream. People just going, oh, well, that would be cool if that happened. And Mitchell Pierce is one that is plausible. So I can see why it's gaining some, gaining some steam. Um, but yeah, the Flanagan one definitely looks like it's the case. Bulldogs have said they've put in an offer. So it's definitely on the cards. So yeah, I suppose people putting two and two together. Flanagan leaving. That leaves a halfback spot. Bring home Mitchell Pierce. So it definitely could happen. But uh, yeah, leave in the comment section below what do you think is going to happen. Also, while you're at it, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. I'm trying to keep making content while I'm on the road. So hopefully you guys are appreciating that. I'm sure you are. 
And uh, yeah, if you do, or well, if you have been enjoying it, make sure you leave a like. Turn on the notification bell as well when you subscribe. It lets you know when I've uploaded immediately. That uh, obviously gives you a notification, so you click straight on it. Don't have to worry whether I've uploaded or not. Uh, also, we are at it, go ahead and give me a follow on social media. I feel like I'm constantly saying, go ahead and do this, or why you're at it. But yeah, why you're at it, go and uh, follow me on social media. It's on the screen at right now. It's Mr. Luke and YT. Place the page in the description below as well. And my Snapchat is also Mr. Luke and YT. Um, and yeah, that's where I'm going to end the video. Hopefully you did enjoy it. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys.